All right. Hello, everybody. We have another Teammate Thursday edition this week. A little tricky to get a game, but we got there. Uh, and this week uh, with me here, we uh, age eight or Andrew. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, I'm, I'm back again to contribute some, some amount to playing Kid at Um <laughs> Yeah, it should be good. Uh, we're up against uh, Lyushkin. I don't know even how to say this German name, and I'm not going to try yet. And then Mr. Leech. Uh, all pretty good players, so it should be good. I just have it set to base map, no landscapes. So just kind of a classic game. We are in training mode, so I have no... I'm not, none of us are getting an ELO advantage or disadvantage, but it also means we can play whatever we want to. That's, you know, no pressure. Uh, I see the track is, yeah. uh, I see the early track is dwellings that b doubled up big buildings, doubled up trading post late dwellings. Uh, that can be a little awkward. Uh, doubled up, uh, doubled up events often, uh, is a little hard to spam out a lot of points. And then there's not a ton of pass points here either. So, yeah, I mean, and, and I also think the most obvious thing has already been, been added. Um, like when I see big building tile and ship tile and double early fire wards, I, I, I almost always think CM, but it, someone else also thinks CM. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't instantly think of that. I think it's fine. I do think witches are very reasonable. Um, I think, I think, uh, with temp ship in the game somebody very well may go on a dwelling rush opening i think that's going to be very interesting um i think this also is just a very well it's boring i think darklings are going to be quite good um yeah probably true when this track is low scoring when there isn't that much of the pass points there is a big building tile there's like a lot to like about darklings here for sure uh but i'm curious yeah if you have other opinions i also obviously tend to like to put in friendly color arrangements and dark leads means the game's going to have a good color arrangement regardless uh i mean that i don't have a problem with putting dark leads. i think it's like not the most like exciting but i obviously don't have an issue with it because dark things are always fine and um whatnot uh i mean just because it's changed but i'm wondering if you do something weird but i guess i don't know what it would be so maybe maybe that's reasonable <laughs> I, I mean, swarm leads are like okayish here. There is the big building pass tile. The track is okayish for them, but it, it's not great. Um, well, I, I think swarm leads are also just very boring. So I, I'm, I like okay. always vote against you, swarm leads. I see. I see. You want exciting and weird. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering, like, should we submit like pop years or something? I don't know. What the, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't really see it. Darklings are fine, I guess. Um, All right, I'm gonna be lame and just throw in darklings then. Uh, Ghostly, you're saying E7 is a key hex with witches. Yeah, base map, this hex often can be pretty important. I'll admit, as witches, I often don't defend it and don't care that much. Uh, so, you know, now you all have a little intel on me. Um, but if I get witches here, I really would want a dwelling rush. Wow, we still get swarmlings anyhow. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, now CM are like, you'd be good. Right, that's there's all this this what which happened here. Um Maybe they're not. I don't know. Uh well, I mean it, Yeah, it's tricky. Like I think I think Swarmlings Swarm some combination of Darklings and Swarmlings are gonna start spaded big building, like always, I would think. I think that means witches are just getting temp ship and can go full dwelling rush, um, which I'm personally a big fan of. Um, That's true. I guess I was more thinking about the sandwich nature of what's going on here, but yeah, you're right. Which is probably still great. Uh, yeah, sandwich swarm leads are one of the factions I don't care that much about sandwiching, right? Like swarm leads will probably go, yeah, you, they probably go G6. The slightly more concerning thing with swarm leads, for in my opinion, is that they might, depending on who's playing them. Not all strong players yet have fully come on board with the, you know, East Swarmling life, and they still like to start at D5. And I don't think D5 Swarmlings are particularly good, but it might be their only spot to get a neighbor, and it makes life as witches just a little harder than I'd want it to be. It probably does mean even better things for CM. Um, yeah. The other <laughs> awkward thing I just realized for witches dwelling rush is that CM probably will take worker power and just single dig e7 first action anyhow well but is, is that too much a problem i mean like if you start on like c4 c3 and f4 
and you, you can reach all those hexes like single dig C5 or so, I guess from that's the pro- yeah the problem is so the problem is single uh, dig the problem is single dig dies you might get to double dig but it's not guaranteed and you certainly can't do it first action um so and, and who is getting the double dig here like that's a question we should be able to like derive but it's, probably, it's not obvious it's probably swarmlings it could be witches it depends a bit on how they play and what they want to do um if Swarmling starts D5, I believe they can get themselves the, the double dig for sure. But I also think they shouldn't start D5. Well, anyhow, so, it, but if they are going to start D5, I think it's easy Chaos Magicians. I think it's probably just Chaos Magicians anyhow. Yeah, I think it's Chaos Magicians as well. I, I think but I may also be biased. I think you open Temple in a Dwelling, and you're going to get the center. You're going to go Sanctuary in round two. There's probably not Earth 1 pressure in round 1 anyhow with Swarmlings in the game. Or Dwelling Rush Witches. Yeah, I think Chaos have a lot of bidding to be done here. Yeah, we're gonna... The temple's gonna be for two Econ Bears, right? Like, that, that's part of the plan here. Yeah. Um. Now, one thing that might happen is we... Kevin's do have the option, an option they may or may not select, but they have, they have the option to, instead of paying Earth Power, take the Cult Bump and hit four Fire in round 1, right? Because of Fire one and and the couple, but I don't know if that's actually worth it. It's something interesting that they have an option that they'll sell. Yeah, I'm willing to bid C up again here. I don't know what you're feeling. Um, uh, I might. I mean, when are we jumping to Dark Is my main question. Uh, but I think it's like probably pretty soon. But I can see one more point on CM. Right. Uh, probably so. Darklings are still pretty good. My hesitation with Darklings is simply where exactly the leech is happening and what exactly is the game plan. Um, it's not clear to me that Darklings have great early leech because I'm expecting witches to do some sort of dwelling rush, which means I don't think Dark. I, I just don't know how much action there is in the east for Darklings to leech off of. I guess Swarmlings I would expect to be in the east. But I mean, I, I'm still I think worried. Really on D6. I, I would expect, but I'm still. Wor- I guess I'm still worried about D5 swarmlings, even though I don't think it's great. Um, let me ask you this though. Let, let's let's say the darklings get almost no leech, right? They're, they're still just like darklings in a low scoring game with like they're scoring. You know, this 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 big building in round two. They have the building pile, which they love. Like like, well, how bad are swarmlings really if they just don't get any leech? Like get you know, darklings. That's kind of my question. Um. They're not, they're not bad, but it's not incredible. Um, yeah. I, I, I think it's, it looks like we're not playing witches, which makes me a little sad. But I think those witches bids are wrong. Aggressive. Yeah. I, I mostly because as I, as I say, like I think witches, if they actually get to temp ship and single, like if they actually get dig into full dwelling rush, I'm pretty on board. But I just don't think that I'm not sure that's happening. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. If we get Cassian's, are we single being E7? I think we are. Oh, yeah. So, it, it does seem kind of great. Because then you get, if you get the Dream Sanctuary time in the center, I feel like CM, like, often wins when they get that start. Yes. They, um, they, they absolutely do. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it's for sure. It's for sure what you're angling for here. Uh, and there's just, like, no pressure on red hexes, really. I, I, which is occasional take one or two of them, but. It's it's like the most this is like the best possible color arrangement for chaos I think. Yeah, I mean one one question I have here is okay, so 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 let's say we start on d4 and let's say which is is trying trying some sort of rolling wish type thing which oh we got bit off it okay. Yeah. Interesting spot. Uh, I mean I assume we're putting another point on CM. That's what my instinct is to do right here as well, yeah. All right, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to do that. Um, I don't hate... At a certain point, Swarmlings just can't be that bad here. Um, but I don't know exactly when that point is. Well, they have a number of issues. Issue one is they don't actually have the, the training post path they love. Um, and there's going to be a ton of competition for this, this big building path style. Uh, Problem two that they have is that the cults are not a contestant. I see them is probably going to win two cults, and the two keys on a contestant. Chaos Witches might be the two key. Maybe Swimmings gets it, but like it's a toss up. It's not guaranteed. I, I think they have like a bunch of problems here. Obviously, they're still Swimmings. Yeah, the track is like okay for them, but not great. Like double TP events that everyone else can be able to exploit, and they can't. It's kind of annoying. Um, I don't know. Uh, on Dasai, 
I don't I I don't think there's an East Leech party here, so I think you're I think you're wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what that means. If there were if there were leech party needs, that would change things a lot, but yeah, I don't think but, there is one. Yeah, yeah. I Adas is suggesting that CM are gonna be here. There's gonna be a leech party. Uh well yeah, sorry, you can't see my screen. But uh well I, I, I can bring up the screen, but yeah, um <laughs> That's fine. But yeah, I, I just don't believe in any world that that's what we're seeing in this game. Now, if this was what was happening, I would bid Dark Lanes a lot more. I agree. But I just don't think it's happening. I just, if we're really Chaos Magicians and we get to single Big E7, and we believe that's right for Chaos Magicians, which I think it all is, then like, the middle's sort of pretty appealing. Now, the one concern I have is, okay, let's say Witches isn't upgrading much, because they're doing some sort of dwelling rush thing somehow. But maybe they just can't do that. I don't know. But let's say. Then... If we're on D4 and the Swarmlings isn't on D5, we don't have any leech either, right? Oh no, I guess we'll have leech from Witches on F4 or something? I don't know. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna have much leech, but you don't need much leech as Chaos early, right? Like if you're gonna yeah. delay your, if you're delaying your sanctuary till round two. Now, I mean it does mean that maybe we shouldn't bid too much on Chaos Magicians, but at this point, I mean we're still only paying I mean like witches are now only three like, I don't know. This like I, I mean, at this point, it seems like people have different ideas with witches than what we're doing. I think witches might be just cutting us off on E7, in which case the world is very different. Um, although they really just can't, right? Like, there's no way witches can actually be... Like, even if we don't get worker power, I just take some stupid power pass to and I guarantee E7. What am I... Yeah, like... Yeah, I think you just run it. Like, you just take the bad pass tile and it's, like, probably totally fine. But anyhow, we, um, are, we are kicked off chaos. So, like at a certain point, the question for me is how bad are swarm lanes? Um, so, yeah, I, I think we're definitely approaching swarm lane territory. Uh, so they're gonna score two cults. Man. It might. Be, uh, it's, it probably is too early. I think it's too early, but I'm not sure. I mean. If you if we got swarmlings, I think what, the key thing we have to do is try to exploit the shipping tile as swarmling, which you can sometimes do. Um, but yeah, it's not that hard. But the the, the limited pass points are going to cause some issues for swarmlings, I think, down the line. I would put another point on CM. <laughs> I think. But I think so too. I don't hard. know. I think we stick with our assessment that they're. <laughs> significantly better than witches and darklings um i mean it is possible that darklings are still the right bid i think witches are certainly not i'm i think these witches bids are a bit much uh, unless unless witches are actually getting double dig and temp ship it's still probably pretty good but i just i don't know i don't think it's so obvious like yeah i i, I guess i'm sort of living in a world where i think swarmlings are getting double dig uh, it's, it's sort of unclear. Like, what I'm imagining is if Swarmlings and Darklings are upgrading on G5 and G6, then Swarmlings is going to take the double dig. And Witches on C3 with us on D4, like, I think are not, right? That, that's the scenario I'm imagining. In that scenario, which is start is okay, like, they can put out a dwelling on C4 and G3 off Temp Ship, build a temple, have, like, Temple 3 dwellings or something. But, like, it's not, like, that exciting. I don't know. I agree. I I don't quite get the witch's love. I think darklings still, like I say, are pretty good. I, again, I honestly don't know where you start as darklings. I, even the east spots, it's not super clear. And why I'm saying this is I don't totally know how darklings are planning to connect this game, depending on where certain factions start. Um, I, like a lot of times, I would try maybe like an E10 B5 darkling start here, but then you might not even have neighbors really right away. Like. I I, 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 again, I think Darklings will probably be fine. There's ways the game breaks very well for them, but I think there's ways that Darklings get relatively little leech early. And as you say, they're still good, but I don't, yeah. I, I don't think they're great at that point. Um, but now we are at a tough point. I'm not opposed to CM one more. I'm hesitant uh, about Darklings over Swarmlings, and I don't want to touch witches. Yeah, I'm in a similar spot. Um, I mean, just to think about Darklings a little more here, because that's actually presented with us. I think Darklings' plan might be to start G G5, um, like like something like G5 E5, and connect south. Because if, even though Witches on C3 and H4, like they still can just like do that black, brown, yellow like highway down there and connect that way. Might be an option, maybe. Um, I don't know. Because uh, basically, the idea is the yellows aren't contested anywhere. 
Yeah, um, that is an interesting thought. That's a wacky starting spot, but maybe that works for them. Although, God, I hate having to pay for shipping for Darklings then, but... Yeah. I mean, it's not an amazing plan, but then you have the neighbor from Swarm Links riding you. At least some leech is the idea. Like... And then, like, you can dig that brown and then have witches as a neighbor later. Like, I, I think that's the right Darkling start, I guess, is what I'm saying. But well, anyhow, we do have to bid. So your, your, is your opinion that we actually bid Darklings here, or...? I don't know. I think we should probably build, build CM before we start. All right. I, I, I'll go one more CM. I'm pretty comfortable with it. Uh, I do think, I think at this point, I'm probably taking Swarmlings if it comes back. I might go Dark, well, not, I'm not going Darklings anymore. I was going to say, I might go Darklings if they don't get touched, but I was expecting them to get hit again. Yeah, um, I think I, we get kicked off CM, we, we go to Swarmlings. I, I think that's, that's correct. Um, yeah, I'm pretty terrified at this point of like a Swarmlings that has a 16 point edge on CM and a 10 point edge on the others, so. Well, I mean, this one might have been wrong, but I also think, well, I will freely admit that I both love, like, CM are one of my favorite factions, and also C hate Swarm Leads, because they're so C boring. CM are fun to play, even if, yeah, even if things start to go wrong. They're interesting, they're unique, it's fine. Uh, we'll, like, uh, we'll see. I, I, at a certain point, I agree, we're paying a lot for this position as CMs, and it might be too much. Um, but, eh, oh well, like, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just we'll just overbid, you know, I, put ourselves I, in a handicap win anyway. I, It'll be fun. I kind of do just want swarm leads at this point. Uh, to be honest, I kind of want somebody to just to pay chaos because yeah, I I don't love uh paying this many points to play chaos, but I think it's correct here. I think the values are pretty close to correct at this point, but we'll see. Which is is overbid by like four, and dark blue might be overbid by like one, and like, but it's mostly right. I think it's close. I, I mean, honestly, I, again, like, Swarmlings sometimes really surprise me with just how much they do. And it's probably not great for Swarmlings here. I mean, they're not going to get an incredible amount of track points. And they probably will have some issues on the cult, so they're not going to get network, and there's not a ton of pass tiles. And yet, if the pass tiles do break well, and they actually do win the race to Tuki Town and CM play more expansion y than cult y. I don't know. There's ways that I think the game does still break pretty good for Swarmlings, but... Yeah, I, I mean, if we played Swarmlings here, like, one thing I would consider is, like, okay, like, we're planning to get shipping anyway at some point to exploit the shipping style, so maybe then, given that we want Earth 1, and, like, play a little more networky or something, um... Yeah, well, oh. alright. I, I agree that networky swarms here are actually somewhat viable, especially with Earth 1 at the end, but... I think Mr. Leech predictably made a very good choice. I think Mr. Leech is the second strongest player at this table. Um, maybe he's better than me, for all I know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I think this makes a lot of sense. I'm not too. I, I certainly am not sad to be paying six points to play Chaos over Witches. I think paying six for CM over Darklings is totally fine. The 16 points on Swarmlings is my concern. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think we probably should have gone to Swarmlings maybe a point or two earlier, but I'm I'm okay with it. I agree. I, I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be a huge problem. God, I just, I just hate playing seven structure swarmlings. I don't know. I'm just so off it. Like you often win, but it's just not pleasant. Um. Fair enough. I, I don't have such, <laughs> I don't have such problems. But, uh, all right. We do just see, we do just see, uh, whatever that is. G four darklings pretty or, or that's what i don't whatever hex that is pretty standard so. yeah g5 but that that is the square that i wanted his other starting hex is less clear but i like that square because it, it's going to give you a neighbor on g6 swarmlings i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i think swarmlings for sure go there i think swarmlings might go h4 um oh wow that's an interesting start like trying to disrupt witches is the idea uh, it's not just actually. I guess with Darklings potentially joining you, maybe it's bad. In general, I think H four is fine in certain matchups. It also allows you to actually play network, right? Like part of the problem here is if swarms want to play network, how are they connecting? If they don't have H four H five, I guess they can try to go to the north, and so you still do start D five. But like if witches are going to cut you off at C four, like. I don't know. It, like, it gets really, like, it's not clear how you play Network. And the other starting spot is what here, anyhow? Like, all of it kind of sucks. It is just D2, okay. D2, okay. That, that, that's, like, the most normal Swarmlings start, I think. Yep. Um, it is. It may indicate that uh, Mr. Leach is playing to play a more traditional 7-structure game. Uh, I'm not sure. Sure. <laughs> 
I still think it's, it'll be okay. We'll, all we have to do is just like not give the Swarmlings player. Oh, Darklings do join in the East. Okay. Interesting. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, it's quite interesting. So Darklings Northern connection this game is very tricky. Darklings Southern connection is also not that guaranteed. Uh, but Swarmlings like also aren't going to connect. So I mean. I guess this is part of why we wanted CM. Like, CM should have just an easy, at least, second place on network, I think. Unless Darklings do connect through the north. Um, or, I guess, through the south. I mean, there's ways for Darklings to still connect, but it's it's a little tricky. Because a lot of times, if our game goes well, we're going to be on these red and yellow in the north, and witches will be on the green and black. So the north yeah. is cut off, and then the south, witches are presumably on the green and the... So it basically comes down to we might have to cut Darklings off of this southern yellow, whatever it's I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, I, 7. But... That's true. We, we definitely might have to do that. But that, that's okay. I mean, that, that's not that hard. And, like, I don't know. I actually found often in the CM first Darklings matchup, CM is, like, more awkward for Darklings than you might think for two actions that are not color neighbors. Uh, because their connection routes are often kind of... CM will often take Darklings connection routes. Um, so yeah, I think our game plan is still, hopefully we just get worker power, but even if we don't, we're just taking whatever tile gives us a power so we can first action dig E7. I think that just is mandatory, basically. Um, well, is it? Yeah, it's pretty mandatory here. Um, and then witches, if we take single dig away and they are on temp ship, they, they probably just upgrade next to us because they're going to be hoping for double dig. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, regardless, I think we agree that we're starting center and we're going for E7, right? I don't think. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, I, actually, we there, there, and... there really is no other option now. Sorry. The only other option that makes any sense, I guess, usually is like D7, but Darklings didn't even start E10, and I don't think witches are going to start E9. So. Well, yeah, what I was going to say is imagine a world where witches, for some reason, does not start either F4 or D3 oh! like this. Oh. Yeah, I was, I was just, I was just wondering about this idly. Um, so if witches starts here, now we don't actually have to rush to e7 because it's just ours if we start d4. Whoa. I think we can't start d4. Oh my god! I still, yeah, we start d4 always, but oh my god, that's so good for us. Well, maybe it's not. That's correct, actually, that might not be good. Yeah, we're not going to get leech. Yeah. So, so what this means is we're getting no leech for, forever, but. You know that's okay. Um, we can we can deal. Uh, I mean, I think what our plan is is so our first temple. Are, so with, have... are witches not temp shipping though? Like what is happening here? I don't know. Are they going for the double Dark thing? Queen's temp ship? Witches get the spade? What in tarnation? Oh my god. <laughs> Dark leads that don't take the spade are not great players, everybody. Dark the spade is just so much value in round one. Like, I get temp shipping to the north, but, like, there's time for that later. Like, just take the freaking spade in round one. And witches... If we, get the, if we get the spade, oh my god. Like, what are witches thinking about? Like... Yeah, if we get okay, the spade, we're they taking do, it. They do take the spade. Uh, I think we just take cult coin, though, right? Because then we get to step four on fire very easily off of fire one. Yes, and we can still. So wait, wait so wait, hold on. Just think about a minute. So if we do that, we still get single dig if we want it, right? Not guaranteed, because um, like no one's upgrading near us. That's all. I'm just saying that like I don't think anyone else is going to take witches, it. Like witches might upgrade near us. I don't think we have any guarantee of what witches are doing. Also, yeah. actually, we do have some risk. I see what you're saying. So there is a slight risk here. That... Which is good. Wait, wait. Which is good. Single big D five and then spade E seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we can take this cult step and we first uh, our first action of the game is cult step up fire, and then we have the ability to single dig, which is can't swarmlings won't, and then we will wheel single dig anyhow, with our uh, power. No, that that's a nice line. Let, 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 I, I like that actually. I didn't consider that. But that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm first stepping fire here rather than upgrading. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I agree with which decision to go to D1, just just for the record oh, here. You, you, um, you shouldn't, but as they just said in the uh, chat there, uh, it's training mode. So this is my one concern about putting games in training mode. It's a little lame, but... Yeah, I mean... Oh, man. I, I also will say, 
re Darkling's temp ship. I think sometimes if like you have a really key hex, it's Whoa. immediately contested. And witches take the priest right off the bat. Oh my god, what is that? They're gonna set it to fire, right? That's what's happening. Oh, but Single Dick does get taken by Darklings. What in the? F what is this game? Uh, yeah, I don't know why Darklings. I don't know what's happening in this game that we're playing at this time, but Mister, I, 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 well, this is all whatever. We just upgrade, but I'm I'm actually really sad we're playing with these like with this right now because this is just nuts. Like this doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Darkling saying Single Dick is, is just nonsense. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean. Yeah, I don't. I don't really understand. Cur Cur Darklings can't even temple anymore, right? Like they, they, they literally don't have like that's such an awful power. Actually, that's such a bad decision. It does hurt us a decent bit, which is why I'm complaining as always. Because like I, I sometimes say like you should be happy when your opponents are making bad mistakes. But like I think this just benefits Swarm Leads a lot in this opening thus far. Like maybe I'm crazy, but like w like what are well Okay, we are getting Leech. Uh, is there a chance we do get Double Dig? That's not even good for us, but... No, but... we I, I'm not going to stress about that just yet. I mean, I think we will get it if we want it, but... Mike, you think it's Dwelling Rush Darklings? That's what we're seeing? That's such... That's, Dwelling Rush I mean, Darklings? I mean, you're right. That is what it must be. Wait, no, it's not. Where did Darklings Priest go? They advanced ship. So it is Dwelling Rush Darklings. He's going to... Yeah, he's he is going to rush... He's just rushing Dwellings. Oh my, oh my god, he's putting out, he's putting out, like, this is, this is bizarre, okay, um. It's very bizarre, it's, it's, it's an interesting line, it does get, it, it gives them better chances that connection that I was giving them credit for, because they are going to be way up here very early, but, yeah, this is, this is wild. I think Single Dig's very dubious, but, uh, anyhow, I'm going temple obviously, right? I mean, yeah, so the question is, what does our temple take? Obviously one of those fire ones, we want to hit four fire. Uh, is the other one Earth 2? Because, like, we don't have any workers. It's usually Earth 2, but I I, I, I think it... Ah, God, yeah, we need workers, too. I was going to say, Air, Air 2 is pretty tempting in a game where we're not expected to have tons of power. Wait, I'm on the same page. Like, it, normally, but, Earth 2 is not like the Well, but the problem is we we need one worker next round regardless at this point. So I, I think it has to be uh, Earth 2. Yeah, that's true. Okay, okay, okay. I guess, I guess we... Yeah, we, we have to take for next round, we have to take Earth 2. That, that, that's right. I mean, I guess maybe we're passing for worker power, so then it gets a little tricky. Although I still want to put out a dwelling next round too, probably. I think we're yeah. I, I think that we're gonna be able to use this worker. I, I, think, I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's weird. We don't with this four power we're getting. We we actually don't need the power badly. Like we'll still take air two next round probably, but like we're, we, if we wow. don't get the power from. Wow, I'm just saying wow again, because witches are also advancing ship, though. Like, what? Like, just take... I, I guess they got handed the spade, but what is this starting spot for a temp sh like a shipping open? How? I never expected multiple players to be opening shipping. Um, anyhow, we, well, have, we have to pass. We don't have a choice here. Yes. Uh, we're passing. We're taking worker power, um, I think. Wait, so we could take coins? I could just take seven coins, yeah. I'm like, I we'll still have the option to just single dig. Double dig doesn't do us any better. I'm not saying we should. I'm just saying that's the other option because the idea is there's double workers on the cult track, so like we're not gonna have a worker problem ever. So like maybe we just take seven coins I, and I, then. I very much agree. That's what I'm saying. I agree. I very much agree with taking seven coins. We open next round single dig. Oh, but that will be short of worker. Oh, awkward. Never mind. So that's the upshot of worker power. Worker power lets us build a dwelling and sing. But I'm confused. Aren't we still getting worker power? What do you mean? No, no, you, I, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. We're just being kidding. I'm saying, what if we take the seven coins power action and then pass? Oh, then we can't spade. Wait, can't we still? Oh, wait, hold on. We won't have power. We, we don't have more two. Oh, no, we're not. We're short. We get five more, but I guess. Um, we so, don't get five uh, more. We don't have air two. Yeah, but there's a four power action on the cult. Oh, oh, God! Cult income. See, yeah, this is this is what I need a teammate. You you can tell everybody. I can't. I see. Um, I'm I'm I, wait. I'm maybe I'm, maybe my math is wrong. So we end up with two, and then we gain five. So then we have. Oh no, we have exactly seven. I'm not really interested. Right? I don't really want to take a coins action here. I don't think. Okay, okay, that's fine. I think there's enough coins in the pastels. I think there'll be enough coins actions later. I don't think I want to commit. Okay, fair enough. We don't. I don't think we necessarily have to commit. I just, 
that's that's my one consideration here is, is whether or not we should take points actually before we pass because right now we have the tempo to do what we want. Um, so if there's something we want, we can just grab it. But like we could take workers action too if we prefer that. Maybe we should take none of them though. We just pass. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pass for worker power. I think we need the extra worker, and I don't want to mess around with anything else right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, we will have six power in both three after this, right? So all right. It's a lot. All right, everybody, you guys are right. Stupid cult reward. We fought for it, and you turned it on with your channel credits. There we go. We can see our we can see our power income. Like, don't worry, chat, because I have income plays on anyway, so I'm here to I'm here to help out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Swarm lead start looks quite nice to me. Uh, it looks like he might just be getting. Well, he does have some issues too, I guess. He did not get much early leech either, because everybody's doing crazy things. Wow, is that a hard dig? Oh no, that's their that's their. Oh, never mind. They they got the spade tile, so they still are doing a dwelling rush opening. Just... Which is opening hasn't worked out. It's actually very good. Um, it's it's pretty good, although I, mean... I still think this starting spot is just nonsense. But I guess if you're gonna go for like an early stronghold plan anyhow, which I think is what they're doing. That just disrupting swarmlings maybe has some value. It just you're you're barely disrupting swarmlings. Swarmlings is just gonna wind up taking D two eventually or E two, and not carrying that much. But well, my other question is: so what is which is planning to connect that hex? Are they planning to take the C like C two A three like the gray the, and then like I, it's kind well, of weird. Probably. I mean, again, I don't think it's a great plan, but whatever. Uh, but yeah. Uh. I deranged. I agree. It's still trading post five dwelling start, but it also involved a manual ship increase, which I guess will eventually score. But like their resources are going to be a little awkward uh, heading forward here, especially because they can't pass onto coins and they don't have enough power to take a coins action. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of Witch's position, but I think it's fine. Uh, anyhow, we have to decide what to do at the start of this round. By the way, um, we well. We want single dig pretty badly, I think, so we might just have to take it. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're really going to have anything incredibly innovative. The, the, um, the main other temptations are either stuff like Priest of Fire, Priest of Air, uh, but uh, I think single dig is just that important. I mean, I could double dig too, but again, I just don't, there's no real point. Well, wait, well, so we could double dig E6, um, the brown hex. Maybe that's crazy though. I was just, I was thinking about it. Um, because <laughs> then like it's not awful. This... It's not awful, but I kind of almost want to invite Darklings to join us anyhow. I think. Yeah, just like, provide us with leech. That's very reasonable. And um, I, and the problem with that is that it slows down our expansion to the east, and I think I really want to try to be getting to these reds before witches thinks about taking them on us. Yeah, I don't think the priest is a problem. I mean, as Mike said in the chat, because no one else has a priest. So oh that's yeah, not nobody really a problem. nobody else has priest income. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna single dig. Uh, and... Yeah, I think that's right. Um, I was I was thinking about like weird lines where we like take a priest so we can get both priests off or something. I like that, but... but but we need to. I think we have to secure a dig. Yeah, yeah. We just can't risk the single dig, and I think it might be contested. Um, I'm not sure, but. I, I don't think it's that likely to be contested, but I think it's pretty disastrous if we don't just get that, so yeah. Well, it's very weird. Like, okay, here's what I, here's the problem that Swirling's has in, in this current situation. It's like, Swirling's town space is, like, pretty awkward. And it all demands the double dig, right? So they're not going to be single digging because they, they're definitely going to want the double dig and somewhere. Giving, giving Swirling's double dig here is definitely nice. I mean, the, I think the main argument for doing something else here actually was to deny swarmlings but i i think this is fine um I, yeah I, i'm pretty happy actually i think if we can get a priest power action here that's actually my next priority i mean the coins are good but i think getting another priest power action or not another but just getting a priest power action in a game where nobody's sent priest to the cults yet i i think we can have a very good cult game um so uh, my i don't know i i like saving power and using it on important things rather than denying uh and spending two extra power here just to spade something for no real purpose doesn't interest me 
Yeah, that's reasonable. And I mean, I think you're definitely right that in this in this current situation where the like Western Reds are never contested and the Eastern Reds are rapidly contested. So like, we don't want to take this weird town when it slows down us getting to those East Reds. But, but the other interesting thing that I've, I've been thinking about is like, okay, so are we worried about Earth One? Oh, I wasn't. Darklings literally can't take it on us, right? We could just sanction. No, no, no. Not like this second, but like. Yes, I am worried about it. Like, uh, as Chaos Magician, it's hard to make points. I, uh, so I've said this before, and I guess, yeah, we should agree on this. But I, I think Chaos Magicians, their best games almost invariably come when they get Earth 1, Water 1, Air 1. Like, they're, they're a faction that just doesn't have inherent ways of making points. They're a faction that can take multiple favors at once. So both of those things mean you should take a lot of favors and you should take point favors. Uh, like... So, yes. Um... So Mike did have a point there. Like I, I, this is classic me. Also, like I just built obviously, but there, there was an argument to not building there because we're gonna take Earth One. But I usually believe the tempo difference is important. Um, like there's still pass for a spade here. Pass for temp ship is great. Although here I am talking about taking a priest power action, which is gonna slow us down. So who really knows? But yeah, I mean, there's also just like. I mean, there's even pass for ship scoring is something we might be able to utilize. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't hate that either. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I think for sure next action now has to be sanctuary Earth One Air Two. It's possible that everybody could take Earth One after this. I don't think Earth One makes a ton of sense for Darklings or Witches after you Dwelling Rush. I just don't think that's very good. Uh, I, like it's fine, but it, it like. Part of the point of Dwelling Rush is that you just get to score all your dwellings right away, and you do other stuff. So, but I, I don't think there's a point in us risking it. Um, oh yeah, I don't I don't think so yet. I mean, we don't really need this priest. Um, what I would say about like the ge the general turbo of the round thing here is like, I think it's mostly just going to work out. Like, I think we can go fast or slow. And the reason is like, if we take a really long round, then we'll just get this like big building pass to know that we're just not right. Like. If we take a really fast round, we can pass it like the spade or shipping. I, I feel like there's an abundance there. I, I agree. Our the, the good the good thing for us is our position right now affords us a ton of great pass options. Like passing for the spade, great. Passing for temp ship, also great. Uh ship scoring can work. Uh the big building tile is good. Honestly, six and four coins are not awful. Like it's yeah, that's everything, right? Like everything is fine currently. Um woo, we do get stronghold witches. Uh, obviously, I'm accepting power. I mean, now we don't need to, now we don't need to build Earth One because they're not gonna take Earth One. Yeah. So, the, I guess do we want Temple on the Cults? I think my instincts are yes. I think I just want this Priest power action. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. We're gonna secure the two best three spots. We're gonna just like have yeah. tons of sets of pulp income. We'll take a long round. I think it will be fine. Um, we're just not gonna get locked in a good pass house. There's too many. And we can literally just hard dig. Uh, this E8 hex next round, I think, and not really care because we're gonna get. I mean, basically, I'm using these fire cult workers as a hard dig. Is what I think is gonna happen. Uh, that's possible. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know if. Yeah, I, I'm not like guaranteeing that will occur, I, but I'm I, fine with that. I, I think it's actually pretty likely we could take a coins action later this round too. Uh, actually, dark are gonna take it here now that they have that lead. Yeah, Darkwing is definitely going to take it, but that's okay. Because uh, I was going to say, otherwise, once as soon as I said Priest to Fire or Air, I'll get coins. But yeah, we don't get coins this round. So our coin economy is going to be a little bit of a trick, but uh, we still have some good point tempo. Uh, witches go there. Makes tons of sense. It's fine. Um, I just sent Priest to Air, I think, and then Priest to Fire, and then Sanctuary. It, it's definitely minor. Uh, I, I prefer sending it to fire first because fire rewards are this round and air rewards are next round. So for some reason we need to emergency pass. I prefer to get the fire rewards, the air rewards, but it's not really a big deal either way. Okay. No. No. That's a good. That's a good argument. I. I think. I don't think I have a reason to want to pass before that, but maybe we do. Maybe I should priest to fire, then sanctuary, then decide if we want to priest air. That's very reasonable. Yeah, that's that's my proposal. Um, I I think we are actually going to end up doing it, but basically, okay, here's what's actually going to happen, right? Which is actually going to pass really quickly, uh, because of this. Which they, is they have, they have which, which are going to pass under the speed, very like like almost guaranteed here is my. Right. Oh well, never mind. They could build that dwelling by converting a worker to and a power to a coin. Yeah. Well. 
Uh, I will go Sanctuary here, though, just in case. Yeah. And that this is just Air 2, Earth 1. We're agreed on that. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is Bog's standard transitions play. It's good here. It's good almost always. Um... Yep. But now, like, okay, so now... Like, if we get offered this big building tile, are we taking it? Like, because we're going to be offered it, right? Uh, yeah, I don't even know if we really want it, so I'm not sure we will. I mean, what are the things that if we pass onto it, we can three step on air next round and still get that? Like, we'll still get that if we prioritize it. Um, but, oh wow, Darklings pass on today? That's wild. Well, it makes tons of sense. They, I mean, they don't have priest production, and it's the best tile available to them on the pass here. Like, they don't want. I guess that's again. true. They don't want temp ship again. I guess ship scoring would have been fine. They do have one ship, but I think that was totally fine. Um... So now, if I were witches, I would pass on. I would consider passing on to maybe ship scoring and taking coins action, but or maybe not passing on to taking coins action is possible. Hmm. Yeah, they do pass on to ship scoring, though. I think it makes lots of sense for them. So, uh, what kind of style do you think we want of what remains? Probably, honestly, temp ship. I don't super want to have to... Well, so part of the allure of temp ship is... There's a world... Well, looking at our resources, it looks like we build three dwellings next round. Yeah. And then I don't even have to advance ship is one of the upshots, but it's not incredible. The big building though doesn't super thrill me here. No, I think you're I think, I think you're right. I mean I think the other although, option is close to play. Mm, although it depends on how much we think we have to defend against swarmlings already. Cause... Well, I do think we kind of want to do that. Although which is started quite good. Yeah, so the main reason to pass on the big building here is just the so Swarmlings don't get it, because that's... Oh, wait, no, they have a Swarmlings action left. Anyhow, what am I talking about? Yeah, Swarmlings are always doing an action, so I think, oh, I think okay. we priest air. So we might as well priest air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, that's true. I, mean, I missed that they have it left, but of course they did. They, haven't, they have not made it to you this round. Yeah, so uh, the upshot of temp ship is that we have a shipping next round, which is nice. Um, but I mean, if we we can we can manually get our shipping if we pass on something different. I mean, yeah. The slight danger, the the slight danger, is if witches do take some of these easy reds that we're hoping for, then then having the extra ship and being able to ship to stuff like G two is pretty good. Oh, you're imagining a world where, like, okay, uh, so, so, like, but how does that work out? Like, so you're saying we hard dig E8, and then we just, like, immediately take D7, and then, like, we advance ship and take G2 or something? That's, like, the other line? Oh, so I'm not, sure I'm not using hex names? Sorry, you don't yeah, have them. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's slightly safer, but I think... I think it's fine. I mean, my, the reason I, the, the logic for the coins, um, I'm not, I'm not just saying it's right. The logic for the coins is that, look, we're going to advance ship at some point. Temp ship is a tempo play. Is this actually the time for a tempo play? Or are we supposed to make a permanent sort of advance? Um, I, I, I think we'd prefer to take two. I, I think I prefer to take the two worker tile, assuming it's there. I mean, Mr. Leach is thinking very heavily about taking it here. I think it's probably wrong for him to do so. The free trading post on Swarmlings is so important, but, I mean, the big building pass style is also very important, so it's, it, it's I mean, a, it is a very tough call for him, but... But the free trading post is literally like, it, it's what, not Swarmlings? It's Swarmlings cost, right? It's like seven resources or something? It's like a crazy amount. Well, but, I mean, he is playing, so he is playing the seven structure type Swarmlings, though, right? So the tricky thing is his his whole game is difficult to score points. He doesn't really care if he gets all the trading posts this game. It's just not actually that important. He didn't even take water once, I just realized, so he's not even losing three points, um, which does make oh, the pass a lot more, it makes the pass a lot more reasonable. But, oh, yeah. okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess I guess we're taking championship now. Um, over six points, I think. 
Well, so uh, you might still be right that it maybe it's just correct to just manually advance ship. It's still fine. Um, uh, well, I mean, the idea is also we actually could conceivably pass on that and still get the two ship, right? We could you pass on the six points, take take a piece power action, correct. and still have two ship. Correct, exactly. We have a lot of power next round and not a lot of clear need for it. Um, so, <laughs> and Chris Ho is wrong. Yeah, Chris, Chris, is, Chris is not correct that we want touch of quote, so bad, unquote. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like not interested in six points of mana advancing ship. But, I mean, the question is like, so do we need these three spots? Like, are the, we have all the good three spots already. Well, I, I do agree that taking more three spots are very interesting. Um, I, I, I think six coins is just better. Okay, I'm, I'm down. I, oh, I, oh, oh, although now the new question actually is, do I want this stupid cult step? Because it comes with one extra air worker, but we should have so many workers. I think just two coins or two coins and one less action has to be better. I agree. Oh, I, I think I don't think it's I don't think it's better. I prefer six coins by substantially here. Like, all right, I'm taking six coins. Then. I think it's just way better. Temp ship is such a lame tile if we're not really <laughs> using it, and we do need permanent ship advances this game anyhow. So yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that's, that's always my logic. Like, what, I mean, again, the way I always think about Tempship is like, okay, obviously I want shipping, but like, is, is it really that I need to, I need it like this second because I need my resources to spend all my resources on other things? And if not, maybe I can just take Tempship later when I need, to, need that tempo or maybe never take it. Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. Uh, the coins particularly do get taken by witches. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, we do have the option to double dig, but again, we don't actually have anywhere to go. Um, I could single dig again, which is fine. Um, it's probably all we need to do, really, right? Double dig just doesn't get us much again. It's, unless we try to ship. Maybe we're supposed to ship first, and then we could take I, We could take C2. Not that that's a great hex. Well, it disrupts witches, which is kind of funny, but... Um, it doesn't do that much else. I mean, I guess we're always advancing ship. There is literally nobody can reach E8 at this instant. So I guess... I guess, yeah, I'd rather take double dig than single dig. There's just no... Yeah, I think we just advance ship. I think we're just taking our double dig, assuming which doesn't immediately hard dig the, the gray, but... It seems unlikely, <laughs> although I don't know where they're going to hard dig either. But yeah, we'll advance ship. There's no reason not to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, Chris, so you are here now. So, uh, we were going to take two workers. I, I just don't think temp ships are that important for us. Um, it has value, but I think we just always want to manual, like, we always need to advance ship anyhow. So we were, we, we were going to take, we would take two worker tile. Yeah, we, we, we were thinking we'd take the two worker tile. Um, I mean, again, the thing about temp ship here is just like, why do we... What are we also doing with all these resources that we have? Like, we might as well just permanently van ship. We're going to do it at some point. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. We need to pay for it, and temp ship gives us very little actual resources. It gives us a little tempo, but I, again, my big concern is merely if witches want to hit some of these hexes on us. And I think they actually, I'm, the more I'm realizing, witches probably needs to think about double hard digging. The, yeah, doing this. Although turning it blue is, oh, Darklings literally can't take it. Interesting. Okay, well, that does work. That's. Yeah, they're like, it's dangerous, but it, 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 it might just be fine. No, it, it, I was going to say, it is fine, looking at Darkling's resources. Normally, I, now it's just suicide, right? But Darklings have so little priests that, yeah, this is this is actually okay. Oh, this game. Oh, <laughs> and Darklings took Earth 1, wow. Uh, so I was a little concerned about Water 1 pressure, but I also think we just get Water 1 next round. So uh, we can take Double Dig here. Uh, and, I don't, yeah. and Witches are not going to hit our Reds, so... I don't think we need that other ship advance this round. So we could still take the priest just to set it to water. Yeah, I I don't love the priest. Eh, well, hmm. Although it slows us down. How, do we want to pass early? I don't know. Uh, let's just double dig. The priest probably comes around to it. Well, actually, no. Swarmlings will take it. Swarmlings will definitely take the priest. We, we, we should try to figure out what we'll work to here. Uh, I like priest to water. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with it. We're just trying to dominate the cult. Well, oh, partly uh, because I think we're taking water one next round. 
So the priest should also come with a spade here as well. Oh, wait. Here's what you have to be aware of. We're going to lose two key. We are losing two key. I agree. So I'll are taking two key. But there's still a lot of second places that I care about. Okay, yeah. Maybe we and, don't care. And That's... cult income. I care about cult income. Yeah, yeah. We should probably freeze the water. It's probably just one thing. Um... Although, oh, we could lose double dig too, though, can't we? Swordmates could double dig. Uh, oh, wait. We probably can't risk that. Swordmates actually might want because they have that brown they have to double dig and stuff. We, we should probably just double dig. Yeah, that's what I just realized. I agree. Uh, so I'm double digging. I'm building C2 because uh, yeah. witches can reach that. Oh, no, they can. Well, never mind. Wait, witches do have one ship. Never mind. Witches can reach E8. Witches can reach either of them, so we could build the one we actually can. Yeah, I care about E8 so badly. I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, swarm lead I agree swarm leads are not actually likely to double dig. They're going to Sanctuary, right? I agree. And yet, I think they have enough. Don't they have enough to take double dig and Sanctuary? They're, like, they have the resources. They technically could do that. I, I, I think it's very unlikely. But I don't think I could risk it, so... Well, another thing is, so if they take this... Let's say they take the Priest right now, right? So they, they, they just grab the Priest. Then we could, in theory... Steal the two key. Um, but I'm not necessarily saying we should. Um, but like we could like build the TP in the center and then make it a temple and take fire two, water one, and steal the two key. Yeah, that's true. But that that might not be worth it then. Uh it's, it's, something, it's just... I don't yeah, I don't usually think it I mean the thing is I think we can still win a decent number of cults even if Swarm laid two keys here. There's just so little pressure on the cults. Yeah. I mean, Swirl Leads are going to have to fight for it because they don't have a lot else to do, but, like, I don't know. I'm more worried about a Water 1 rush next round. I think we'll... I think we can maybe build a TP this round and therefore have a leg up in the Water 1 rush. We could, but I, I hate doing that. Well, but, I mean, we have tons and tons of workers and not that many points. So, like, it's, it's reasonable economically, too, right? Somewhat, but it's also just three points next round. Oh, sure. I mean, that's true. So, um, well, so this comes back to one of the classics uh, uh, for me. Like, while I want Water 1, part of the question is how badly do we need Water 1 versus just building our trading posts and going for, like, Air 1 and Route. I mean, I guess I partly want Water 1 because it comes with it. I did say it was going to come with the spade, although we're not even guaranteed to get that priest yet, so. Uh, I don't know. Now I'm talking myself out of things. I don't know. We let's we we don't have to actually make a decision this second, but it's definitely <laughs> a decision we have to think about. Uh, yeah. Uh, which is I mean the other which is our slow play in this round, which is a little intriguing to me. Like I am a what fan, they I'm want? a fan that Darklings are getting cut off on the north. Both witches and Darklings games still look very questionable to me overall. Uh, witches maybe not as bad, but I don't know. Witches. Like, their stronghold is in a location where I don't really know how it's becoming part of a town. I don't super see witches' towns. I don't super see witches' future VP. Their economy is pretty good, though, so I guess there's that, but... Yeah, witches' game plan amounts to economy and figure it out. And I mean, admittedly, oftentimes you can figure it out. But they have a lot of problems. Yeah. Uh, Deranged, you are right that maybe I didn't need to prioritize taking the double dig action this round, but I think double dig is quite a bit better than single dig in general and given where witches have started and how they've played and now had to do hard digs and given how darklings are getting cut off i think we should just be winning network but part of winning network for chaos here is going to involve actually getting enough spades uh we're going to get on a lot of natural reds but we are going to need to generate some extra hexes now luckily i think these cult spades are going to be part of that which i i should loop into my partner that's part of why i'm fighting for the cult spades i think we could win network this game um if we focus on it a bit and i think that's still a reasonable thing to focus on because yeah there... you know, that makes sense to me um i mean i think it's cm i think cm can often win network if they try and i think most of cm's best games involve like at least doing well on network yeah. and like given that I mean, obviously, Swarming's not being a network. Darkling's I, I, situation is dubious. It makes sense. I, I, again, I, I think we probably could just get, like, at least second on network without even pushing for it that hard. So uh, we probably don't need to put that much effort into it, but... Chris and is saying we will win network by four. Wow, that's a bold thing. Uh, um, yeah, uh, four is a bit of a stretch for me, too, but the fact that witches had to build like this and 
where are witches remaining hexes, right? Like, I kind of agree. I, I think it's going to go quite well, but Water 1 is probably as good as Network. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. The more I'm looking at it, I do think... I, I think even if we somehow don't win network, we're still gonna get like twelve or fifteen po like twelve points, right? Like I don't I just don't think we have to fight very hard to get a good network score. But uh do swarm leads take water one, by the way. Uh oh they're deciding. A oh, Dark Leads are deciding on a leech and we're not sure he's still there. And this is the classic uh, This is uh, the oh, come on. This is the classic issue of why I'm a little hesitant to go into trading mode with people I don't know. Okay, he is there, but he was gone for a bit. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, it is Air One because he did already go trading post, so there is no Water One pressure in my opinion, or at least not stuff I have to seriously worry about. Uh, which is even better. Uh, okay, I... so are we picking this priest? That's the question. I th think we should. I think we're getting Water One. Yeah, I think we should take the priest. Our coin situation is admittedly tight at this point if we're not using our power for coins very aggressively and we're not getting coins actions because we're passing too late uh yeah that's true but we can solve that by building an early tp okay uh sorry uh <laughs> yeah so let's see are we gonna need this three power to be coins i don't know i, I think it's still fine i would take the priest but all right that's my instinct as well so we're gonna do it we're gonna do <laughs> Yeah, so so one question that I do have is, is in this plan where we're trying to win network, which or, or at least do well at network, which I think is definitely where we're at at this point. Uh, do we have a second town somewhere? Um, so there's a possible east town in the upper right by getting the brown, yellow, red, and a bridge, right? So there's there's a possible town there. And there's, there's also the northwest, right? With that red we just faded, like that there, red, brown, yellow, red. Uh, yeah, I mean, making it right around Darklades is terrifying, but uh, there is actually the bridge over here, too. There's stuff there. Next to Swarmlings and Witches, there's a potential town through this mess. So, yeah, the answer is maybe. Uh, anyhow, I'm building some more dwellings. Dwellings are great. I'm building a bunch of dwellings. There's no pressure on this priest, so... Yep. I'm still slightly terrified that Witches are somehow, even though it looks impossible, going to take these red hexes. Yeah, the fact that it's impossible just won't stop them. We're gonna dig the hexes. Real concern. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like Lushkin wanted the big build, the big building tile. Yeah, this is why yeah. Lushkin played in this game. Yeah, yeah, he he delayed for that, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna build dwellings, and then we're gonna send a priest to water, and then we'll debate this trading post discussion. Yeah. I'm honestly, like, kind of in favor, but... So... I, I just... Yeah, I, I guess we have nine workers coming in. Um, nine. So... Yeah. The coins... The coins, admittedly, are going to be good if we uh, build the trading post. Um, we like, are, here, here's... Here's my argument, right? My argument is just, yeah, we, we really, really actually do want these coins, like, pretty badly. It guarantees us water one, um, which otherwise we probably get, but it's not guaranteed. And I don't know. I just don't really see the downside. I mean, what, this th is this three points that important? Like, I'm not even sure that between getting these extra two coins and these three points, like, is honestly kind of competitive here with our coins being so tight. I don't know. So the coins are good, right? I agree. It's a little tricky though, because like we're turning a worker into two coins and a power. So really, we're getting like one coin and a power better. And so one coin and a power for three points is a lot. I guess that's true. I mean, I guess one of the questions. Okay, let's actually really think about that. So is someone going to take the seventh coins action and take all the pressure off us? Someone is, right? Someone's gotta, right? Like either. Witches will take it, or Swarmlings, or whoever that... Oh, no, but I guess Swarmlings could take it and still be Mr. Waterborne. We're, we're... Yeah, I mean... we I, I don't think there's a ton of pressure on Water 1, but maybe Swarmlings are going to surprise... I guess Swarmlings are just going to build another temple next round, I guess. Their economy is just so weird, but it, I guess it works. Uh, 
my instincts are to not build the trading post in general, but I guess if it helps us to water one, it's worth something. But I also think it's okay to just build trading post next round and not... I, I think we'll still be okay without water one, but... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be awkward with the... Set, like, I think you want water one more with the stack TP events, because... Like, so normally when you do that, you're saying, like, look, I'm going to build all my TPs for three bonus points, and even though they're not going to be water one TPs, like, that's still pretty good. But here, every one of our TPs is going to be built for three points anyway, well, so water one is more important. Uh, apparently not, because we're going to build one early, see, like... Uh... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, I, I uh... think we might actually lose it. Like, like I think... Here's my real concern about the round is. I'll, I'm fine. I'm letting you make the call. Uh, my instinct is to pass. I'm letting you decide there. Yeah. Well, you're better than me. I build the TP, but I'm all really right, that's what I heard. Nope, you build the TP. That's what we're doing. This oh my is, god. Okay. This is, this is what teammates are about. No, honestly, look, I have flaws in my game, and if there is a flaw in my game, it's almost certainly that I don't value water one appropriately. Um, uh, the passing now. I think we're passing for the ship scoring, even though we're only getting three points. That doesn't actually feel great, but a worker coin and three power is dubious as well. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm happy to just take three points, I think. Alright. Oh, something weird we could do this round is <laughs> we could form our town in some way. I, um, I, I I was gonna say this was gonna happen, right? This was coming. Um, because Darklings are gonna connect. I just realized this reading the chat. Uh, I'm I'm taking this six for five is kind of insane, but if we're gonna have Earth one, Water one, Air one, which we now are, um, oh yeah, we're we're we, this. We might get a coins action because Darklings can't thread in Water one right now, anyhow. So okay, so I guess I guess you were right then. I didn't I didn't I didn't. See this from Darklings. Maybe I should have, though. Uh, I didn't either um, until I slowed down and let Tally pay attention to chat. I mean, this is the danger of going a little too... of not... Wow, witches are going to still cut across the west, though. That makes Swarmlead's life painful. Oh, oh witches they're... don't have a dwelling, though. Okay, so they're going to do that. They don't have a dwelling left. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Mike, I agree that uh, Black is just hell bent. Wow, he does not do it. Uh, okay. And he's too sleepy. Well, whatever. Uh, so one question here is we could actually steal two keys on Swarmlings, uh, by going trading post first. Yeah, I, I think it's conceivable that we should do that. Because Water One will still come back. So, so basically, well, maybe, maybe that's not right. Because now we're saying that, imagine we take the one key, right? Just like, consider the one key. Right. Yeah. No. The actually, question is. Well, so the problem is we're probably only getting one town. This might. Well, maybe not though. Oh. Mm. No, you're right though. The problem is we might lose a lot of pulse if we go to two T. Uh. Well, uh, I mean, I, so I, the range. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go water one first. I I don't think you okay. get the points okay. make sense. Uh, but so we're gonna go water one, air one. Yeah, get no more power. I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So. Just to be clear about what I was worried about, which maybe won't happen, my worry would be that if we lose the two key, we're going to be like crushing the cults, but then like people are just going to take 10 slots on us, like even though we're, we've been at the eight slots for a million years or whatever, because we're going to have a lot of trouble for our second town. That's the concern about not getting the two key here. Yeah, and so I agree. The main reason that two key is so good is because it lets you close out cults. The question is looking at this game and the way it's played out. Oh, we're going to get two key anyhow because Sword Leads have to take the screen, is their decision. Interesting. Oh. Uh, well, now we just get to have... Okay. This is going to be an insane game for us. We, we should win this game. Um, uh, that would be my opinion as well, but we'll see. Um, yeah, the witch's, the witch's dig is just I think, really not good, but it's okay. Um, it's This game has been so weird at so many points, and yeah, it's... I, uh, in future weeks, I don't know, like, I love the teammate idea, and I do feel that it's important to, like, let people know and probably have it in trading mode, because I don't want to, like, unfairly get ELO, but I don't want people to not take the game seriously, though, though? like, I don't I think know. most people don't actually mind the teammate that much in real mode if, if, if you just, like... I I don't, check with them. I don't think people tend to either, so maybe I need to phrase my question in different, because uh, here I kind of was like, I could put it into trading yeah. mode, and they all just were like, yeah, sure, let's do that. And I was like, okay. But 
Uh, it's a little bit, I guess, trying to maybe be a little more proactive in scheduling, too. I don't know. Uh, a lot of times you can find games, like, real fast in the Discord, right? And then some days you can't, so it's hard to say. Today, turned out it was hard to get players, although it's a little bit, I think, because Team Europe, like, sucked a bunch of good players and is doing a practice, right? So a lot of the other people, I think, I would normally get at this time, but whatever. Thanks. Yeah, they're, they're playing with Nerd Cube and Simon and someone, I think, but yeah. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so... Uh, Another question here at this point is, what is our priest doing? Like, priest to water gives us another cult dig. We could advance ship just to score more points and get another dwelling or two out. We, I, like, I don't know what the next rest of this route is. Like, we could build a trading post or two still. Yeah, so we don't actually need to build our trading posts. Because we can build them all next round, right? Yeah. The rest. So I sort of think upgrading ship makes sense. Like, like... I understand that we're going to convert, like, four power to coins or whatever, which isn't that efficient. But, like, point is, we just, we'll score shipping, the ship tile can only score this round. And otherwise, we can't. Um, I tend to like advancing ship here, too. Uh, I mean, do it. I'm doing it. It's fine. Yeah. So, what Chris, Chris is pointing out that we could... Potentially, like, also priest action and throw a priest to water and get another dig out of the deal. Mm. Something you consider. Uh, yep, that's not horrible. I don't know how many spades we actually need, though. Um, like, l given what witches just did and where they just flew to, I mean, their network sucks. Dark leads, I guess, are kind of getting their game in order and are contesting network now, but are they really? I don't know. They're They're... Their economy is all out of whack, too. They produce a million workers, have no coins. That I did get water one, but... I guess they'll coin town. That'll help, but... I mean, which is also, I think at this point, basically not a threat to win the game, because they have no earth one, no water one, and no, like, town scoring. Um, so... So my instinct personally is actually to just secure G2 here with this action now that we advance ship. Building dwellings is still pretty good for our network hopes. Like we have to keep our worker production going and I don't think it makes sense to delay all of our dwellings until round six. Sure, I mean, that's fine. Uh, just make sure that we just have to, we do have to make sure that we still have enough to build our remaining three filling posts next round, but I think we will. So I think, I think it's okay. We have quite a few resources. I mean, it depends what we're passing for. Like, one option is to outlast witches, but two workers and four points compared to just, like, seven coins is not particularly important to me. Yeah. I don't think we want to aggro pass for seven coins, although we could. Um... Well, so that's what I was just about to talk. I, I think our next action might be to pass for seven coins plus a coins action. Uh, I don't hate that in any way. Well, if we were going to do that, should we just pass last round? I don't know. Possibly, um, possibly, but I think continuing to get the worker economy going is fine. Also, like, if we somehow did lose G2, our network becomes actually a concern, I think. Well, maybe we, yeah. start, maybe we loop around, but I I don't know. Swarm leads might be eyeing up E3 even at this point in order to form their town out here. I, I don't know for sure. No, I see your point. The problem, you're, what you're saying is we just desperately want to have X. For, for many reasons. It also means we can use our spades on, like, potentially more useful spots is another factor here. Well, There's, like, a lot of... We still do have to figure out where our towns are going. Uh, but anyhow, part of the reason I kind of want to pass on to seven coins is because it just absolutely kills Darklings, but maybe I don't need to kill Darklings. But I think Darklings Oh, are... I think we should pass. Darklings are a thousand percent passing on to seven coins next action here, I think. I mean, the, the, this is a pass for literally 14 points, and we're going to have nine workers. At that point, the world's our worst, right? Like... I mean, we're going to have to build a lot of trading posts, but uh, we build one or two dwellings. I think we can set up another town, actually. I think with the air, we have two air spades coming in, so like we definitely should pick a town spot. Um, yeah. And I think it could just, I think it can just be in the east. It's a little concerning because swarmlings, but we'll see. Anyhow, I, I, I want to pass for seven coins. Do you agree? Let's just do it. Oh, yeah. I think, I think it's a pretty clear pass. I, I honestly think if I were playing on my own, I might have passed last move, but... Because while the hex we just got is really good for us, I just don't think anyone's coming for it. Yeah, um, I, I think that's fair. You think Darklings are using their cult bump, Mike? 
I think they would have passed for seven coins, but you know, I'm I'm not the same. I obviously play the game in different ways than other players, but wow, they do use their call pump. Well, I guess because we passed, but I think they would have. Yeah. I think they would have had to have passed for coins. Their economy is out of whack. Wow, wait, I can turn these income displays off too. Nobody else has re-upped their payment, so. <laughs> I, I could I could I could use my current income display while being in the call with you. That's quite quite a good use you, of it. Um, you could do that, but <laughs> you, Mike. No, okay, I see, Mike. You okay? You you your read is that they would have used the cult bump because they're just that type of player. Uh, okay, that's fair. You might well be right. Uh, they have been doing lots of things I don't agree with. So okay. So let's think about this pulse thing. So if we put it on the yellow next to Darklings and Swirlings, the problem is that Darklings could take it. Now, Darklings should not do that, I think, but they also could do it. Um, and then, like, we'd also have to get the brown, which might be challenging. I don't know. I, I kind of prefer the northeast one, I think. I, I'm also eye on the upper right. I think that's safer. The only downside with that actually is we want to build our trading post in the town, so I kind of want to secure, like I kind of want to secure the brown this round. Mm. So I mean, we 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 have nine workers. The double hardening isn't out of the question, uh, but no, no, it kind of is. We don't actually have that many extra workers because I I think we really need to build three trading posts this round. So yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. That, that's six of our workers, so. Well, but, so, okay, okay. What, what else do we do? Uh, well, so I was going to say, there's there's a chance that we're not opening with the coins action, I think is what the real answer is. Yeah. I was realizing the same thing. Like, we actually just have, well, so how many coins are we going to need? We're going to need nine coins, 11 if we're building a dwelling. It's not that many. We, correct. We have 11 coins, right? I mean. Yeah. Or, or so, we, have, we have 10. Uh, like, we have 10, I guess, but. I, well, no, our in, our income is currently 11, I can tell you. So, therefore, we'll have a total of 12. Um, oh, because we have a trading post. Duh, duh, duh. We have the trading post. Uh, I think I think we might be double-digging this brown, then. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I think um, I'll do the cult dig in the upper right yellow. Because that one just seems so safe. Like, I think no one is coming for it. I think no one's ever going to come for it. It's just going to be person, a town. The only person that could is witches, and I think witches should just carve out their other town. I mean, it would be bizarre for witches to come for our town when, like, they need to take 80 bazillion hexes of their own to, like, do things such as connection, right. their, so their second town. Upper right yellow? Yeah, right. I like it. I agree. I think it's good. I don't know about bridge pressure, so there's one, one other concern, but I think, it, I think it'll be okay. Uh, mixed steps, witches have just, yet yeah, been making mistakes. Uh, okay, so actually the question now is... Yeah, what do we open with? I mean, coins? I just don't actually think we really need that many coins to game. Uh, the bridge pressure is intense. Double digging this is actually more painful than I thought, because we won't have enough power to take the bridge. And I think witches are going to take the bridge. So, well, I think we... Okay, I mean, we, I think we might end up with enough power. But, I mean, witches might take it for us. Oh, that's true. We could we could burn down and not care. I mean, they are going to take it before us. Forcing the town is starting to. I'm realizing it's starting to get a little painful, but I I think we still have to go for it. I think it just doesn't hurt us that much, and we don't have great. We don't have great other things to be doing. Yeah, I think we should still do it. I I also think we might get the last round bridge. Um, I don't think it's that unrealistic. Uh. Well, I just hate having bridge pressure. That's most of my problem. But okay, I mean. Well, that's fine, but I mean, I just, okay, if we, if we analyze this, right, so Swarmlings obviously doesn't want a bridge. Darklings has a chance of wanting a bridge, but at least right now I don't really see it. I see their town being A4 to B3 in the north, and therefore not wanting it. Um, and witches might want it, but we might also be able to pass before witches, uh, because, for example, they have the witches action, and also, like, we don't actually want to build all our dwellings this round, even though we can, if it's dwelling our next round. So, like our round isn't going to be that long, I think. Um, the rest of the rest of our round can be three trading posts and pass. Uh, it's a little sad not to get a pass tile, but we we would get a guaranteed bridge then, yeah. So 
Uh, I think the next actions here have to just be trading posts in our would be town. Yeah, uh, that's old, pretty reasonable. The only other argument is build the dwelling, just but I yeah, I think just the trading post is better. Yeah, I'm not I'm not afraid of witches. I'm happy to, I'm happy to just build the TPs. Right. I just I mean I understand that at some point you reach a situation where like you just need to like play around something that like your opponent just absolutely shouldn't do, but like would devastate you if they did it. Um but I just don't think we're quite at that point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, Chris Ho, I do agree that giving Darklings the coins is, I think, the main reason to to, to take the coins for us. Because, yeah, did, like Darklings definitely uh, needed those resources, and now they probably can build all their trading posts and build another town. Uh, and they're could be somewhat competitive in network, right? So then, yeah, it, it does become a concern again. I don't think we have to worry about this now, or even necessarily soon. But just another thing to be aware of is... Wait, where, where did that bridge go? Over there. Okay, uh, sure. Yeah, so Witches is not even planning to town on, like, the F4G3 type of stuff, I think. So the center. They're, they're, they're just not towning that, I think. Yeah, clearly. Um, yeah, I don't really understand basically any aspect of which is life right now so i, I won't worry about it I agree. um i agree i'm just gonna we're just gonna play our game over here we gotta build these trading posts yeah and another thing is so we are quietly losing earth to swarmlings right now um i'm not sure we can do much about it but just something to keep in mind is that yeah i saw that too but yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not just saying. Saying it's possible. We're just saying like, okay, well, that's that's too bad. Um, I I'm pretty happy if we just win two cults and get seconds of the other two. I, I that's that's still a great cult game with very low effort here. Uh, so I mean, we'll see. If I had known that red tries this hard to block coins for me, the dwelling rush. Oh, I mean, I don't try. Really? What did we do to block coins from him? What did I do? Like, what did we do? I mean, there was the round where we passed early for the seven coins, but we did that because we wanted seven coins. Yeah, uh, <laughs> coins, coins are good, buddy. Coins are just always good. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I've done, but sure, I've we've apparently annoyed him, which uh, doesn't concern me. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really get it, but that that's fine. So, so is Swarmlings is gonna pass next action. So this fast round actually might be really good because we can do our last TP and TP rounds, right? Yeah. And then well, we can pass on to the building tile. Yeah, I mean the downside is Swarmlands, Swarmlands will bridge block us. Oh well, that's I, unfortunate. I, pro probably, I could be wrong. Swarmlands actually, now that I paid more attention, Swarmlands actually might they might take a coins action because they, they still have some digs to advance. They still have to make points themselves, so yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Actually, maybe maybe they won't bridge block us. I just generally think bridge blocks are the right thing, but uh, yeah, I mean that's fair. Anyhow, uh, I'm definitely building a six point trading post. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on G2, I guess, and give witches a free power they can't currently accept. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No need for any kind of complicated complex calculations. We can just give it to no one. That's my favorite person to get leech to. Yeah, I agree. And one note here is so the income right now is massive because we have all these TPs out on player one. Yeah. So like we're just not even gonna this point actually we didn't take. We might never need it. Well, so that's a lot of why I said we didn't need the coins action. We 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 didn't need coins. It was pretty clear, I thought. That like, we were gonna build all of our trading posts, we're gonna have massive coin income. We 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 didn't really need it ourselves. So yeah. Uh, but, so I, I think that play was probably right. I mean, now if our town gets blocked, I think that'll make it worse. But. Yeah, well, I don't know what swarmies are gonna do for sure. And I mean, partly passing for a points tell is fine. I I don't know. I, I the other problem with this town that I realized is that we either have to like we we have to temple for like fire whatever in order to get it, which is a pain and a half. Mm. That's fair. We don't actually have many workers. I think I, I think I do kind of need to build a dwelling here. Although we don't even have. Yeah. I, I'd have to convert a worker to a coin. Never mind. That's not feasible. 
So, okay, hold on. So, so we, we've got to figure out where we're at here. Uh, we either build the B6 dwelling or we send a priest to Earth. Those are the two options. Um, and the point of the priest to Earth is that this temple plan, like, if we're templing for Fire 2, we could temple for, like, Fire 2, Earth 3 or something, maybe? And yeah, then... I think priest to Earth here is fine. Losing, losing the town is actually not awful. Yeah, maybe this town was all just a, a fantasy the whole time. It, it kind of, it kind of was. That was part of the problem when I was discussing, right? And then Mike in chat kind of called out that he didn't think it was particularly worth it, and I think that is proving a bit true because yeah, it's just awkward trying to get digs and a bridge, and then neighbors. And, well, or I was supposed to expensive trading post, like, but yeah, this this turned out awkward. But whatever. Uh, anyhow, the rest of chat, I'm finally catching up. Uh, yeah, I can't play Tuesday nights, but the Zorus Tuesday Night League is sweet. For people interested, you should definitely go check it out. There's a post on Board Game Geek. Are you uh, playing in it? Oh, uh, I, I signed up. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing play it. I mean, I'm just trying to put a slightly more time skin into my life, is mostly what I'm trying to do. Um. Nice. Uh, so Swarm Leads wound up taking a priest, so they're trying to stall us out, I guess. Uh... Okay, uh, I mean, that's weird. Um, I mean, what do we do about that? One option is Priest to Earth, and then we probably just win Earth next round. I don't love that. I think I prefer just building the Dwelling here, now that we have an extra power. Yeah, I, I prefer the Dwelling as well. Workers are going to be tight this round, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Because the other thing is, okay, so so note that, like, there are funny things that happen where, like, we can only actually hit the 10 spot on one cult still. Um, so th things might get weird. Um, like, in this Temple Fire Tube Earth 3 line, the Fire Tube is for zero steps on fire, because we, we choose to win Earth, I assume, or, or something. We could win both. Why can't we just win both? Oh no, we have the two key. Oh, we got the two key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, yeah, never mind. Yeah, None yeah, of this yeah. is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll just, we'll just win both. That's that's fine. The bigger issue is I don't know if we're going to get to Temple to Earth 3. I, I think Swarm Leads are going to take that on us. Or they're going to Priest to yeah. Earth. Or they're going to Priest to Earth here so they can just single step, right? Like, I, I, I think we have to open next round of the bridge. Um, and I think we probably are passing. Oh, wow, he goes single step on Earth. Fair enough, that still lets him close it out, and he can just earn the priest back. Yeah, okay. So you want to pass here rather than send our priest somewhere? Well, probably. I get, Well, so, I guess if we keep stalling, we get Swarm Leads Tile, which is nice. But I think, and we probably are getting Bridge Blacked. Oh, God, yeah, I don't know, it's awkward. Uh, I, guess, I guess I said I want more workers, though. You're right. So why not just stall? So we do just set priest to earth, I guess. The alternative is wait. Priest. Is it is it earth? Yeah, it could be. It could be. I think it's priest to air. Maybe. You think just close out air? Because because we're not winning earth, I and mean, we're just not. So we can set a single priest and take it. And our first action is going to be to take a bridge. So we're like, okay. Like, yeah. is the point that if they bridge block us, then we can take earth? I don't know. I think I think we just close air well, most likely. Yeah, the the main point for going Earth is because yeah, if they if they decide to bridge block us, then I don't have to temple at all. And I guess is which is going to contest us on there? Okay, hold on, maybe you're right. Uh, I guess they're not because they need to upgrade shipping and stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with Earth, I guess. Yeah, I think this I think this actually helps protect bridge from nonsense. And that's what chats agreed with. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're right. I think you're right. In a weird way, sending it to Earth forces Formlings to, to to take Earth, um, and therefore will get bridge, is the point. Yeah. Um, I, to be honest, again, I'm still actually not sure how much we want this bridge, like, because I still will have to Temple Fire 2 then to make a town, which is, like, is fine, but we really want to build all of our dwellings very badly. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess, fair. I guess we'll still be able to. I mean, we have two spades coming in, and we can just make red hexes, and I don't think our opponents are in a position to just hit our red hexes, so... We already have three dwelling spots. Yeah, then we carve out two more. Actually, we kind of need all of them, but... Uh, also, I forgot now that, yeah, Darklings actually have to pass first, so Darklings could also consider bridge blocking us. Although yeah, I think in the end, we probably should have gone for this town that we went for, but that's okay. Yeah, It'll I, guess, be fine. I guess whatever. It forces other people to bridge block. Let's 
So, Weber, the issue with building the stronghold next round is like, God, do we need workers? I, I guess there is worker towns, right? Maybe, maybe it, maybe this turns into a worker town, and yeah, we build a stronghold. Wait, so sorry, what's why? Why do we want to build a stronghold? Sorry, I'm not trying to get it. Uh, uh, it oh, it, because we're in a big open side. Oh, if, I get it. Yes, if, yes. If and because if Earth gets blocked, like then we don't even have to temple at all, and we could we could go stronghold uh, as a. Ah, uh, okay, no, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, that could happen. And that also uh, anyhow, well, the fire two issue. Anyhow, we're clearly passing for the big building here. Yep. Incidental benefit, which is get snow pass tile. We're the only ones that have pass tile. Yeah. I mean, our points, we do have some issues. Swarmlings, Swarmlings as predicted, still, even with all the awkward things, still are already at 100 points. Um, like, Swarmlings are obnoxious with, yeah, just being able to uncontrollably make points. Uh, yeah, I mean, notably, they do have, like, no resources and no past tile, but you're right, they have they have plenty of points. Like, I'm not necessarily saying, you know, I, I think we're still going to be flippants, but I, I could be wrong, I've done no math. Um, uh, we, we have some concerns, I mean, we're 30 points behind. Uh, and we also have big issues versus Dark Leads, I think, too. Um, I think Darklings are scarier, to be honest. But I, I yes, think, I think that's probably true. Uh, so I think this kind of bottom yellow should be red. Like uh, we're just turning hexes red that hopefully nobody's going to touch. I think. Yeah, that bottom yellow is definitely red. What's the other thing that's becoming red? Uh, I think it's this kind of bottom left gray. Well, everybody can mess with it. It gives us an option to get over to these bottom left yellow and red, possibly at the end of this round. So you're claiming witches does not want it for connection? Oh, uh, they do, but it's even more fun to make them suffer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess it's fine. I'm talking about <laughs> Sorry, that was hilarious. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's going to be really hard for us to actually take it. Possibly. I mean, they still need to make a town, and then they still dream of connecting by getting two ships, and they only have two dwellings. How are they connecting? They're not connecting. Yeah, they're not connecting. Okay. If they want to fight us down there, they can... Oh, wait, they do have spades, though. Uh... Oh, wait. Uh... Wait. That might, been, that might have been foolish. Uh... Well, they should carve out their own town. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, okay. the, the, the problem is they only have two dwellings. So once they make a dwelling for the town, the problem is they need two dwellings to connect this stuff. And so then they have to build temple, trading post, three dwellings, and advance ship twice. I mean, maybe they achieve all of that, but yeah, it's kind of a tall order. Uh, does the bridge block happen? Uh, well, okay, so it comes down to Swarmlings. Swarmlings bridge block us, or we win Earth. I think that means we're gonna get the bridge. So okay. I think we're getting our bridge in our town at this point. Is honestly what I think. I think so too. I think yep. Swarmlings will just take Earth. Uh, we just take. So we get the bridge. Yep. All right. Uh, I think this does look like Stronghold, then. Um, it probably is a worker town. Uh, we want to build five dwellings, then, and the Stronghold. So yes, that's... Yes, but now let's be careful about ordering, because... 14 so our, our... coins, which I have, and then it's five worker. It's nine workers. Okay, yeah, actually, we totally have this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you had to take the bridge if you wanted the bridge we take at Darklings. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> So one thing is, uh, our our northwestern red is the only one that's threatened by darklings. So yeah, I'm actually um, shocked they didn't take that. I, I I that the the we instantly take this hex because I thought darklings were gonna take this away from us. I guess darklings are gonna just make a town on these hexes, but like I thought darklings were gonna try to fight for another town. I think they still yeah should. I thought so too. I I don't really well. Yeah, I, I think that this is wrong on their part. Um, I think they're worried about maybe getting the towns they want versus witches or something. I don't know. It, it's hard for me to explain their behavior, but regardless, we're going to take our free red hex. <laughs> uh, so there is an interesting question in chat which I do think is a lesser known rule of Terra Mystica. Uh, they were asking if Swarmlings could even take the bridge, since Swarmlings actually are in a unique position of literally not being able to build one legally. And the answer is yes. Uh, you can take any power action in the game, even if you can't legally do it. 
So even if you're even if you've used up all your priests, you could just spend three power just to block the power action and not take it. Um, you are legally allowed to do that in Terra Mystica. Yeah, I was gonna say I am actually aware of that, and the reason is um, <laughs> uh, I played a Snowman game where at some point in time I wanted to take a priest action in the last round to set a structure swarmlings, and then I took a priest action and didn't have a priest slot. Now, luckily, the game was with friends, and people just let me make a different move because it wasn't very serious. But uh, I did it just spend three power and get nothing. Um, <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, Darklings did undo their move and did what they should have done. Uh, so that's a bummer, but oh well. Okay, so, so be it. Uh, in that case, is, do you think our priority is the northeastern red or the southwestern red? I guess it's the northeastern red, because I don't think Darklings is going to take our southwestern red. I don't think which is either. Darklings are clearly going to set up their town. Yes. Um, Darklings are going to get their last two dwellings out, so yeah, annoyingly they are just going to beat us on network. Yeah. So that means I am declining this, though. There's no way we're tying them on network. It does not seem like it, no. Yeah, I don't need that power. Um, I think I agree about locking up the town. I don't really know what witches are up to this whole game, witches have been doing weird things. And because as I just did that math, I don't think I don't think we're actually that worried about network. I mean, every dwelling we build is great points wise, and we do need points, but uh, I think this is fine. So our plan right now is three more dwellings. I mean, is there anywhere where we end up taking the the, the double big? Is that, is that at all viewable? Uh, well, so since losing that red, we have slight issues, but, um, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I do think we might want to be able to dig later, which is why I'm, I don't know. We, we, we have, we have flexible resources right now. We don't have to commit to much yet. Uh, I think we just keep taking red hexes while they're here. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Um, the, I mean, the Hex Me Next one is definitely the red that which is like, could theoretically use to connect, but probably isn't. Um, uh, actually, they're using the Southern Blue to connect, if anything. But anyway, whatever. So, Chris Ho, I think trying to build Stronghold Trading Post and the rest of the dwellings is asking too much of our resources. Maybe if I had accepted that four for three, maybe, maybe, but it's hard because that also requires a spade. Uh, so I don't think that was happening. Well, okay, one thing here is, if we choose to take it, the double spade is going to be ours, because we, I think, right? Because we can always, like, track two priests to close out two cults to get six power to double spade. Yes. Um, but that works. Now, I don't know if we're going to do that, but it, it I, does mean that, like, we can make more reds. Sure, but 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 then workers, right? Like the problem is the stronghold is four workers. The trading post would be two workers. So then we'd still need four more workers. I guess that's a worker town and our two priests. But then our our priests are not being used for digs. Mm. Uh, we we yeah. do only need single dig, but then we also need a lot of coins. Uh, and I can only take so many towns. So yeah, I I don't think there's any world where I could go stronghold trading post six dwellings. It, it's just too much. Uh, yeah, that's that's fair. It's probably just stronghold, and I mean stronghold three dwellings is easy. Stronghold like, mm. so I guess that's just where we're at for the time being. I don't know. Oh, actually, although did I mess up my? Oh, dang it! I did slightly mess up my calcs. So dark leads only tie us on network if they get this black hex here that they're about to build on for free. Um. Because they still, okay. have to, they still have to advance ship to connect. But they're going to get that hex. I'm, I'm confused. Well, now they are. Uh, this You're is... thinking we, we would block them? Yeah, I would have blocked. I would have... I would have ex I, it, it, this is where if we had planned out longer, I would have accepted that earlier leech. I would have prioritized sending a priest to a cult so we could double dig. Just so we could, oh. take, so we could take their hex away and make one more red for ourselves. Um, Oh, I completely missed that line. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's too late now. Uh, Darklings will get this black. Yeah, because nobody's going to stop. Oh, wait, they're already at three shipping. What am I talking about? How are they at three shipping? Oh, no, temp ship. Yeah, they still have to They're ship. currently on temp ship, yes. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. Um, well, whatever. It's too late now. Uh, I think I just keep building reds then. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't know if the one you picked really matters, but I'm fine with either one, I guess. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, guess the other one, which is might build next to the other one. So I guess the other one might be a little better, but we'll hit one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Actually, witches are connected still, aren't they? Oh, yeah, that's awkward. Well, it's not. Hold on. Do they have a resource to connect? They need yeah. to advance ship. They need to advance ship, build a TP, and build a dwelling, and have a dig. Do they have all that? Yeah, I think they can. I guess they do. So wait, so they have 11, they have 16 resources, not counting the priest. They need... Uh, maybe not. Four, it's very tight. Four, nine. It's very tight. Yeah, this is a problem. We should endeavor to not let them connect if we can. So like, we should build our, our you know, stronghold to give Wormling's Leech instead, for example. Well, yeah, but I have to take that red hex. Well, I guess I don't have to yet. I could delay. Take it slower, though, right? Yeah, I don't have to take it right now. Although, they still can't accept leech off of it. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait. Weber's right. They need three ship. How are they getting the third ship? Oh, they do need three ship. So they're not, they're not connecting. Okay, so we're, we're fine. We're, we're, we're going to get second on network without, without question. Because they Let's don't have a town left. Yes. One of, their the, the, one of their towns was supposed to be a ship town, is what was supposed to happen. But they didn't do so, um, yeah, and which is well, so and their dwelling for, disconnected. <laughs> well, yeah, but the issue is the, the dwelling didn't concern me much because they'd still wind up with three. Like, if they build this last dwelling, right? Like, it's still unconcerned. But uh, anyhow, I'm, I'm just building a dwelling. You should take the free red because which is kind of separate right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then we still have stronghold stuff by converting power to coins, and I think that's fine. Uh, the downside of power to coins is that we might never be able to single dig, but I, I don't know if this last dwelling actually matters to us. Well, your priest can just still become free power. I mean, don't forget that. Oh, we have, yeah. to, we have to take a crappy town, too. That is a bit of a bummer. I don't really... Are, aren't we, were we planning to take worker town? Or... Uh, I was until our extra red hex got taken away from Darkly. It's like, we don't actually need the workers particularly badly anymore. Uh, I guess that's true. Huh. Although, actually, if no more cult action happens, I guess we do have an option of just hard digging to build the last dwelling. So, meh. Whatever. When, that might be right. The hard, dwelling is, the hard dwelling is six points, even assuming it has no network implications. Um, and it might have no network implications, but yeah. It's four points, but... Yeah, right. Or four points, that's it, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think it. that's fine. Um, Although I kind of need witches to commit to where that priest is going, because they still can thread in priest to air and single step up air. Also, can swarlings actually cause us issues, or are they out? Swarlings. They don't have any stuff. Yeah, they just have a free trading post coming down. But god, they're still going to be at like 120 plus cults. I mean, yeah, I don't think we're catching them. I don't think we're catching Darklings, unfortunately, either. We might be catching swarmlings, but we're passing for eight, and we have network points. Well, There's that's true. We're passing for twelve, actually, because of era one. That's a good point. And we still have a town. All right, I shouldn't be too sour yet. Um, whatever. This is strongholds. Next swarmlings time. can't use the power, so we get the swarmlings. Yeah. And then I guess it is just worker town. I mean, I guess a ship town is also. Just eight points, but yeah, the worker town does give us an option to hard dig and build a dwelling. Wait, if we take the ship town, there's no chance we can take the the, the yellow and the red, right? No. Okay. Uh, for checking. <laughs> yeah, we only have one dwelling left. Or yeah, we just don't have enough resources. Um... We're going to hard dig glass dwelling down. I'm confused. Oh, wait, Dark... Oh, we can tie network. Oh, wait, I thought Darklings were one ahead of us for some reason. 
I thought Darklings were going to build a trading post and... Oh, wait, I see. Yeah, we do have to... Okay, we need to fight network. Okay, so it is a worker town. All right. Yeah, it's a worker town for, for, net, for network. We're hard to get a lot going. I thought that was the plan. Maybe... It, 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 it was until I was like I thought it kind of was, but I was looking for other points because I, I, I didn't think the dwelling tied us on network. I for some reason thought Darklings were down to two structures. Uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> huh, something something weird somewhere, but that's okay. Um... Okay, uh, if we're tied Darklings on network, then maybe we have a hope. Although part of the problem is Darklings actually have a surprisingly decent cult game because witches did nothing on the cults this game. Yeah, that's somewhat true. They have six points. Um... Uh, yeah, Mike, I do agree that taking taking this upper red turns out to have been the big issue this game. We sh I should have taken this hex. Yeah, that's that's fair for sure. <laughs> I mean, Darklings, Darklings probably still could have found a way to get their town, but I guess this worked better for them, and they were able to push network this way. I mean, there, it, the other argument is that we did give Darklings too many coins at the end, although actually these coin actions don't look that important for the Darklings at the end. Although maybe the coins action in whatever that was, round five, allowed them to build more stuff than they otherwise would have. I'm not sure. I think oh. the five-round coins action definitely mattered to them, but the last round coin action, them, I'm not even sure they should have taken it. So... Oh. All right. Um, yeah, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm misjudging some stuff. Uh, this was my concern. See, witches are gonna tie us though now, so that's unfortunate. Well, we're gonna spend a dwelling. Wait, did you count that? Uh, what? Oh no. Yeah, I guess they tie us even with their stranded dwelling. I, I I'm saying but... they have the cult step. They're gonna tie us on air now. Oh, oh except no, wait, actually. Enough... Although, wait, we can send Priest to air, and then... Uh, can we? Maybe I can't. Do we have enough stuff where we can Priest to air and still build the dwelling? Oh, I think the answer is we will have we will have be one power short. Is my mind on that right? So, we send the Priest to air. That gives us uh, three power in each... That gives us uh, three power in each bowl, right? Which means that uh, three, the three pound in the second bowl becomes a worker, which gives us the requisite number of workers. But we only have one point, so it's not we cannot send a priest there. Is the answer? Yeah, that's really unfortunate because witches are going to take points away from us rather than dark leads then, which is just a huge bummer. Yeah, um, but the. the <laughs> Chad is going off about him having supposed to take being supposed to take points away from him on fire, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, like fighting fire just. Uh... It's actually more points. Oh no, I guess the same points for them. I, I don't know. Uh, regardless, we can't do much about this. Right? We're just starting out dwelling, and it's it's got to be more points given that it ties us for network with like two people, right? Yeah, I just I just want to stare at it longer and have it change. <laughs> oh wait, we can't even send priest to air. I see, because we don't even get power. Yeah, we can't. Okay, we don't even get power. There's not even a slot. All right, uh, it's super dead. Like we we can't even get three power from that priest. So, yeah, there's super no way. Uh, I only have one. He oh, we have two hexes. Giving darklings free power is dumb. Giving darklings ridiculous power is better. Sure. Yeah. I've done no math. I don't know if we have enough points or not. Um, Losing cults like this is very painful. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate that we didn't actually close some more stuff out. This is classic me, I guess. But yeah, witches, witches finding this is their best path at the end rather than attacking Darklings probably determines the winner. It's probably witch's best move, I guess. But it, it's just one of the like these decisions are inherent uh, in the game. But witches takes two points away from us rather than taking points away from Darklings, right? Like. Eh. But oh well. Yeah, I have a friend whose biggest complaint oh. about high level four player tournament stuff is exactly this thing. Yeah, I mean uh, this is inherited like every multiplayer game. This is just multiplayer dynamics. It's just very sure. cal it's very calculable and visible in Terra Mystica, but if we were better if we were better calculating machines, we would see it pop up all the time in other games too, right? Like it's it's just inherently part of the multiplayer experience. Yeah. 
Uh, also, I definitely disagree with your plan last turn. I definitely would have taken the double move before passing, but <laughs> that's just me. Yeah, yeah, I passed the double move, but yeah. All right, we're currently, yeah, we're too many points behind Darklings. We're not catching them. And then Swarmlings have no network, though. So, okay, we probably are ahead of Swarmlings. I think we're going to be second. I've done no math, but I think we're going to be second. Yeah, I think I think witches did choose who won by their cults, but oh well. Hats off to Black for the Dwelling Rush. Yeah, I have to agree. That, that round one just seemed wild. The single day completely took me by surprise. And uh, it still worked. Darklings are still very good. Even getting bit down, I was dubious that it's still a win for them. So, well done. Well, uh, I do think the bizarre starting positions mostly ended up helping Darklings because they ended up getting, like, plenty. Like, Darklings got plenty of Witch, as it turned uh, out, right? Darklings connecting is still pretty surprising to me, too. The fact that Witches never got on this blue, even though they built the stronghold there. I mean, whatever. But yeah, I, I did think I did think Darklings were pretty likely to get blocked off this game, and that didn't happen, unfortunately, which was my main hesitation for bidding them, because, yeah, I was worried yeah. stuff. So, oh well. It does happen. It's all good. Uh... Uh, it is possible that fighting for our town still was wrong. Uh, ultimately, fighting for this town got us a seven-point town, but it cost us a bridge, it cost us a double dig. It probably cost us just outright winning network in hindsight here, right? If we don't sink resources into that, we're able to build a trading post and another dwelling. With water, yeah. one, with water one, air one, earth one, that's another six points of stuff, plus it's another six-point swing on Darklings on network. So that's 12 points of stuff, where if we... I mean, we lose a seven-point town, I guess, but so that's still plus five. Like that gets us pretty close to winning here, but it's hard to see these things in real time. But yeah, no, you're you're right. I think we, we there were just too many issues with the town. I mean, it felt like because we were building so many so much stuff for network, it was like efficient to like use our stuff to score a town. But in reality, the town is just so awkward, it requires so many sacrifices from us that like it just wasn't worth it. Like another thing is, we had to be going for this town. We might be able to just win our right like <laughs> yeah that's that's yeah that's a good point too by fighting this town i think we also lost cult points right we potentially could have won earth we almost certainly would like i think we could have just been able to win air um we likely caused darklings more headaches in the upper part of the map here too if we just take that red earlier that also helps our network aspirations a lot more um so yeah it does just turn out this town this town was wrong mike's instincts in the chat to kind of ignore it were right um yeah, uh, and it, it it looks like it looks like going for the town is a game losing mistake. I mean, this is a pretty close game with Darklings, uh, and I I think I think we have a pretty clear path to winning it by just building this last trading post, the last dwelling. Uh, what I would say also is okay. I think building in, in going back to the original bid, I feel like our choice to bid on CM over Swarmlings is like pretty validated here because we made a pretty significant mistake and we still beat Swarmlings, and I think we certainly played pretty well. So like, I don't think I, I think we I think it was correct to put another point on on cast for sure. Maybe we underestimated Darklings because I don't know if Darklings played optimally and they still won. Uh, although we did obviously have to make an error. But my opinion that after seeing all the game play out is like, casters were clearly better than Swarmlings even at fourteen versus thirty. Darklings versus cast decisions was un, un, unclear to me. Yeah, uh, so Darklings did wind up getting three times coin actions, which is really what they want. So that was a bit fortunate. Um, well, one of them was in the last round when they didn't even need it or use it. Like, those coins were literally pure resource points in the last round. Yeah, that's, um, that's true. But Darklings But they did... got two, which is not bad, but it's like, I don't know, pretty typical Darklings, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I broadly agree with the I, I broadly agree with the idea that Darklings did things that were probably not optimal and still won. And so yeah, a lot of times I think that suggests I think that suggests the bidding could be wrong, but at the same time the fact that witches did not contest Earth one or Water One, and so Darklings got both. Like I think Darklings were supposed to lose Water One and that water what we expected to be the Water One rush round. Because Darklings wound up not having a trading post on the board, right? I thought witches were going to rush yeah. out Water 1, and they didn't. Um, and so Darklings still got Water 1. I think Darklings got some late coins actions they wanted. I think Darklings' connection still was very dubious this game. Uh, and yet it worked out, right? But I don't think it had to. 
Uh, well, I do think, like, when you take this, like, glowing rush wine, it's, like, weird to ship wine, which I'm not necessarily saying I would have done if I were directly. I think when you do that, you're making a connection, like, pretty likely. Not, like, guaranteed, it, but, like... Well, so it's a lot more likely, but, I mean, it wasn't actually, like, a true two-ship, right? They were a temp ship, so they only had one shipping after that point, uh, and they didn't have priests because you opened that way, so you can't dig very aggressively. So for the next couple of rounds, you don't actually have that much ability as Darklings to guarantee your connection. Uh, now, it turns yeah. out, it, you still have ways, and he did find a way, but... Broadly, what I'm trying to say is, like, I think the auction... I, I agree. I don't think we lost this in the auction at all, right? Like, as we're saying, if we just don't town... Like, I, I think the values between Darklades and CMs were still roughly correct here. Um, I, I mean, maybe we got a few breaks, too, I guess. But I, I just think there was a lot of ways for this game to break well for Chaos overall. Yeah. Uh, whereas, I think it was less clear it was going to break particularly well for Darklades. And I think, yeah, just... I do think Witches influenced this game a lot in wacky ways, and... I don't know if anything they did particularly helped us. Well, they definitely made Swarmlead's life more awkward, and I think they just broadly made Darklead's life better. I, yeah. I guess, well, Witches did cut Darklead's off of the north, although I kind of always expected that. It's mostly, uh, I mean, it's, yeah, mostly the no, it's mostly the no Earth 1 or Water 1 pressure from Witches, even after Darklead's opened Dwelling Rush and Economy favor, but... I mean, so sorry, uh, Terrace in the chat is saying which is killed Swarmlings. I don't think that's true. Like, which at some point in time dug a hex to green so that Swarmlings could dig it to blue. Um, well, now, yeah, that's true. Witches did kind of hand a hex to Swarmlings. Witches were going to try to cut Swarmlings. Although, I mean, the thing is, witches were going to try to make their life even harder. I don't know. Uh, ultimately, whatever. It was an interesting game. We played pretty well, as uh, is happening on Teammate Thursdays, where uh, we're having some great collaboration, some interesting discussions, and we take second. So yeah, we're just we're just we're just keeping hail a fine tradition over here. Uh, any other <laughs> thoughts from you? Oh, uh, not really. I just I will, I will note part that uh, you know two players, second players, it really really all lines up. Um, I, I think Swarmlead's got a decent deal in the auction, too. We were discussing, uh, yeah, just responding to chat here, we were definitely discussing jump, we, like, we were right on that edge, and we're like, we'll go one more in Chaos, but if we get bit off, we'll go to Swarmlead's, and then, yeah, you took Swarmlead's right in front of us, and I was definitely nervous about that, because there is there is also a lot of wins for Swarmlead's getting more points, so, oh well. Anyhow, uh, this was another good game, fun times. Thanks for joining me in chat. Uh, and uh for everybody else i'm trying to keep this i'm trying to keep this happening weekly so uh definitely future thursdays if anybody wants to join me reach out i was kind of having some difficulties getting somebody with me today so uh i'm definitely open to whoever otherwise i'll start bugging some others of you but uh it's a fun <laughs> format so hopefully we'll keep it up and, yeah, uh, people should definitely show up for this. I, I think it's pretty fun to, to, you know, just play with another strong player and just, like, kind of figure out the game together. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's fun. So I'm going to try to keep it up, and we'll see what happens. Uh, and uh, otherwise, as for streaming, I don't really know what I'm going to stream again yet. So as usual, around sometime, it'll be there. Uh, International Clash on Saturday should be a fun game. Tune in for that. And uh, usually we'll have an all-player commentary on the weekend. It's often been Sunday recently, but again... We'll see. Uh, thanks all for supporting all that. Thanks for your guys in the chat. It was a fun day again, fun stream, and uh, we'll see you all around. Bye. Bye, everyone.